Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play the Second Reality Project 2 Reloaded Zyklaboo's Challenge. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, so we made it to Pirate Beach, and well, we can actually scroll left first. I think that's very suspicious. Because usually you don't have that in games. Aha! They had a barrel there that you can actually go in. I was thinking, oh, they're gonna trick me to have another barrel. I bet you this is a secret exit, because not many people think to look there. Not many people think to actually look left to start a level. What the hell did I hit? Oh, that was a prickly bush. And I lost both my power-ups. Well, the advantage of our mar- Excuse me? The advantage of uh, Marty's base over there, and thankfully we got two uh, pathways to go there, is you can recycle power-ups. Now he also mentioned something about like super secret stages within stages, and that's if you get the yellow switch, get the yellow switch palace, you'll find a doorway that tells you of them. I'm not gonna bother with them yet. I'd rather wait until later, but for now let's just keep them in mind. This part scares the crap out of me. Wow, didn't even jump. Tried to jump, game wouldn't let me. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm mocking someone that's he who shall not be named. <laughs> oh, okay, well, found the secret exit right away. Let me take this shell, because I can really use a little bit of a pick-me-up. go. Okay, so I figured, you know what, I had a fair bit of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess done, so I think it'd be in my best interest to actually get some more footage of this hack. Otherwise, I might fall behind. I'll do the pirate base later. Let's go do the normal exit. I know I'm going back, but I believe there was a power-up around here. I could be wrong, though. If there is, I'd rather get that first. Of course, this music is from Wario Land 1. Many good memories with this uh, Let's Play that I did so many years ago. Granted, maybe one or two episodes, or maybe three, were post-con because I was actually visiting my parents at the time and I didn't really have time to record. So I figured if I do a post-con, at least I'll put something out. That pink box is actually pretty suspicious, but it doesn't look like I can do anything with it. I can do something about those Lakitus. I believe they actually throw the uh, poor Kupos. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> how did I get hit there? Yeah, I, know, I touched the Koopa, that's how you get hit. I mean like, um, you know, rhetorically. How did that actually happen? There's no rhetoricalness to it, you got hit. Hey Mario! I scouted ahead, and it looks like Lemmy and his pirate gang are holed up on this island after all. It's a poorly hidden entrance to a barrel which... Yeah. Um... I already found that secret exit, Marty. I didn't really need your help. Like, holy moly, no pun intended. You're a bit late. I already found the secret exit that leads to the base. I thought you were just one of those, like, uh, hidden rooms. You weren't. So what's the good of ya? Better than a lot of things. Well, Marty's not a terrible character. Or at least he tries to help out. It's just that sometimes when you get to, like, dialogue with him, it does stretch a bit long. Especially whenever you finish a castle. Or, well, mansion. They don't really look like castles. But he talks forever. And it gets kind of... Droning on, you know what I mean? Like, I'm playing a Mario game, not an RPG. We're starting to get to, like, Golden Sun levels. Oh, shoot, that was close. The Golden Sun levels of dialogue. Speaking of that, I never even finished Dark Dawn yet. Though I heard it wasn't as great as the other two Golden Sun games. What was that? That didn't even look like a pork bow. Maybe it is a pork bow. Let's see. Yeah. Like they use like a different sprite because you never really see a porcupine like that. They had to add something custom. Okay, fair enough. 
time recording this at night, so no coffee for me. It's hot chocolate this time. Oh, yeah. Shy Guys Beach, yeah. Let's actually do the pirate base next. Oh, I thought we needed to go left again. Okay, looks like they got them some some technology on the go. Oh, hidden blocks. There we go. I kind of stopped calling them Kaizo blocks. The Kaizo blocks are like the hidden blocks that actually try to kill you. These actually help you. So, calling all hidden blocks Kaizo blocks doesn't really seem right. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about that bullet bill there. I was too focused on the charging chuck. One of these gotta have a mushroom, right? Don't even think about it. That's my job. Okay, this this base looks well defended. Uh, uh, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I was back here! You know, I'm not gonna get the power up. And I didn't even get the uh, normal exit. Ah, oh, damn it. You know, let's just do this level right away. Rather than, you know, just do the normal exit, because we've already done that before. Uh, I'll just do that off camera after I finish this level. Depending on what's up ahead. So, yeah, that's just me being all confident. Oh, well, it's a good thing I saved there. Just me being all confident, you know, doing really well, just one little mistake kills you. Like, not hurts you, kills you. Those are the worst kind, because you can do so well, and just love one little slip-up is all it takes to undo every single good thing you've done. And it doesn't take long for that to happen. In hacks like this. Because there's so many ways you can die. It was a charging shock that got me, right? Not making that same mistake again. I'd rather not have enemies like that lurking about. Well, because I'm not getting that. Wait a minute. Oh, thank God, there's a fire flower there. Because if there wasn't, I'd have been angry. Oh, there's two fire flowers. Maybe the game is hinting at something. Let me set you down gently. Mm. Yep. Okay, good thing I hit him with at least two fireballs. Usually when you do that, you leave the enemies like charging chucks pretty vulnerable. That's usually charging chuck 101. Hit him with two fireballs and then one jump is all it takes. There, I wanted to time that so I can get rid of that. That actually made things worse. No, not necessarily. I figured I'd better save here. If anywhere else, here. Hmm. Copious amount of flowers. Not that I'm gonna, like, look to give Taurus in the mouth, but still. Just feels weird that I'm getting lots of power-ups because in other parts of the hack, I haven't been getting this luxury. So I have every reason to be suspicious. Huh, I have to find hidden blocks for a checkpoint? That's new. They're usually just out in front of ya. I don't think they'd do that. Then again, when it comes to this hack, expect the unexpected. But that's usually its charm. It's just not being a conventional hack. Hey, Marty. Hands up, Mario! You'll need urchins help in the next room to climb some walls. Don't worry. You can handle your spin jumps. I better not be doing this for the entirety of the room. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to babysit an urchin almost the entire stage. So in other words, try, try to clear out as many of these blocks, otherwise it could be stuck. Okay, that was close. gun it, but I don't want to go too fast, otherwise I might get the urchin off screen. And I might despawn it. Uh-oh. 
Okay, I think we should be good. Could there actually be more of this? Let's see. Hmm. Nope, it kills itself. Oh, that's actually water. Kinda looks like a comb. Look at it. It doesn't even look like water. But thankfully it is, otherwise, you know, I could be dead. God, cheap cheeps are in here. You can't even see their sprites. Well, faintly. Very faintly. But man, they can really sneak up on you. Eh. I almost got hit by that bullet bill from behind. And I'll get relaxing music after that monstrosity. Hmm. Hot chocolate, of course, is hot, but that's what it's supposed to be. It allows the flavors to mend, so to speak. Beach party? Sure, let's check it out. Oh, auto scroller. Wow! It would land directly on top of me! Huh. Ninjis are here. Oh, looks like that was all for naught because I get my power ups back. Oh, guess they're serving alcoholic beverages at this party. Better go crash it, otherwise teenagers might start getting influenced. Mm, why am I nodding at a wine bottle? Doesn't seem like much of a party. The ninjis are just isolated. This is a horrible... Hang on. Okay, I apologize for this mild interruption. Oh yeah, I forgot this was auto-scroll. Because I'm not really recording this on the same day that I got the first part of this episode. It's on a separate day. Thankfully one day apart as opposed to like three or- Oh god! Had no time to react to that. I was getting a little too far ahead of myself. And look what happened. There. That's good. I'd imagine there's gonna be a lot more of those uh, hyper shells coming. Ooh. Eh. Music doesn't really fit along with a party theme. Oh hey. There are some helpful items in this area, but it'll be hard to reach them. Maybe one of Zyklaboo's minions can lend us a helping hand? You mean like spin jump off booze? Th that would make sense. It's not like we haven't done that before. Hmm. I'm worried about you, so I figured I'd get you killed. Hmm. That does look tricky. No. Maybe this is gonna be like next to impossible to do at this juncture. Yeah, because how the hell am I going to reach that? I mean, yeah, the peace switch will respawn. However, I, I need to be able to, like, get a permanent platform there. And that doesn't look possible to do at this point. See, I need a shell for that. You know what? I think I need this boo to get over here. No. So I'm not even gonna, like, release that shell. So I can kill the other ones. Leave, let's leave this item box alone, because I have a feeling that if I just let the shell despawn, I'm gonna have to use an enemy. So let's simplify the puzzle, stupid. <laughs> No, I'm not saying you're stupid, but I, you hear the phrase a lot, keep it simple, stupid. And it makes a lot of sense. If you try to complicate things, then it just ends up getting worse. Like you do something really bad. Alright, so there's our P-switch, so now we should be able to get that shell. Well, not only that, but be able to release these.
I did not mean to do that. So now I have to redo the entire thing because I'm an idiot. <laughs> This is what I meant to do. Like, bring this boo back again. Only this time. Let's go up here to the upper left. I think this should suffice. <laughs> Just barely, though. Because if I did that early, like, hit the P-switch, that would kill the ghost. Oh, it's a reset pipe. You know what this means. Another puzzle. There's probably something down here, so there's no point trying to do that. I need to be able to Oh, I see what I need to do. There. I got the P-switch. So that's part of it. Silver P-switch. So this must be another part. Hopefully that's all I need to do until we... Ooh, good thing I was quick enough. And then we can do this. Can't slow down for anything. I'm sure all those coins are munchers. And we're done! Okay, that was a very intricate level. Alright, we did it. I wonder what's waiting for us at the very end. Ice Temple? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do this stage. And then off camera, I'll have cleared off the normal exit in that previous level. So, let's do it. I think we got time. Okay, I don't slide around right away. I don't slide here either. I say I'll start slipping and sliding once I actually get in the temple. Oh, we're underwater, so it doesn't even matter. Music actually sounds beautiful. Usually when it comes to, like, ice levels, especially inside a ruined castle, so to speak, they hand to a very crystal-like music. Like, very soft. And I actually like it. It's supposed to be relaxing. Even though on ice, most of what you're doing is sliding around, which is anything but relaxing. Especially if there are spikes or a pit nearby. That being said, however, at least I'm armed with a fire flower, so any fish that get a little too close to me are going to be burned. And they are going to like it. There's a secret passage over there, from what I've noticed. Hmm. How do I break that? Is there like a switch? Let me try a shell. It's a bit far-fetched, but maybe I can actually throw it up. I don't know if you can, like, throw items up underwater. Well, I guess it's worth it. This is a bit of a bit of trouble for, like, one exit. Oh, God. It's these things, the block snakes. And they're slippery, too. Which makes it even worse. God. This is why you need a fire flower, apparently. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, thank God there was something to land on. This thing is actually quite big, that's what she said. So, how long is this shaft gonna be? Also what she said. Ugh. I have a feeling this entire part is just going to be one big uh, wang innuendo. God. Oh, wimps? Okay, that's the end of it. Get in the pipe, Mario. Thank you. Oh, you can't kill that? Aww. I knew there would be a key. Really? There. Problem solved. Ugh. I'm 
almost created another one by getting hit again. So there's the keyhole. I didn't even think this level had a secret exit. Didn't seem like the map layout laid it all up. You know what I mean? Buried pyramid. You know what, I don't think I have enough time to do another level, so let's just stop the video here. In the next part, I'll have that normal exit cleared up, so that we don't have to redo it. See everybody, thanks for watching.